Hello. Okay, my name is Kele Badele. I'm a software developer. So today I'm going to be teaching us how to convert um, our HTML receipt or invoice to PDF. Uh, the, the, the there is always reason for us to want to um, uh, create our invoice in HTML format so that we can you know bring in some effects, some beauty, adding some beauty to the uh the invoice on like just using a uh, some uh, pdf uh, libraries to uh, create the invoice so now this method works for any html view the, because the major thing we're going to be using is um javascript so uh without wasting much time let me just go to the code here i'm not going to be writing anything from scratch again it's already been written so now i'm just going to explain so now this is the scripts first of all um yes we are going to be using this library called html to pdf and where can you find it so you just go to uh just go to google and type in um just type in html to just type in, okay uh le, okay let me get uh, go back so we are get to this place um so one, once you just type html to pdf just html to pdf so it's going to give you different options so anyone is okay so let's say uh, this was one i picked so you can just use anyone you want so now on this side you're going to get every instructions on how to use the library so so now they give you a lot of instructions on how to work with the library so you can play around anything you want here um, now this the options I'm going to explain this so let's just uh, okay wait. let's just focus on the okay so now this is the library uh, extension or URL that I use so once you just just copy it so just just as i said earlier it doesn't necessarily have to be from this place you can go through any of those links just ensure that you have the library in, at your head tag here. so you put the scripts there so then let me explain the script and what is happening now this html is um for laravel laravel view because you are likely to be seeing some blade.php and things like that but the content is basically html and some little um a laravel code now this a uh, receipts is um this receipt is fetching data from database so it's uh it's dynamic okay so it's not just maybe static uh, this thing so it's fetching data from database so uh now let's go to the script so now concerning a you do window dot on is cost to function so you know you just want to be sure we want to load the window and now the document just gets a uh, member id so now this download is the id uh, you give to the download button so let me show you uh, what i'm trying to say here um, so you see this the id here the button here you name it anything you want but just make sure you have it's id with any name because but i'm using download here so we are getting what's happening is that we are getting this as a reference to this button here this download button now we are adding an event uh, listener so we want to listen to that button that when a user clicks the button so there's a promise uh, so uh, it is returned now we save that into a constant called invoice a variable called invoice now this invoice this name can be any name all right so i just called it invoice so now we are also getting the document by id of this invoice this entire this entire invoice so you need to put it in a div in a in, in a div tag or you know so but just make sure it is id so now um I'm going to go to the beginning of the this thing here. Um, okay, so now this is the invoice, this is the div of the invoice. So I named it invoice. Alright, so you can give it any name. 
so now we are going to reference it so that when the user clicks on the download button here on the download button here so now get the element by height which is the invoice now these options was what i was about to tell you the other time you need these options the file name is, be, is going to be the name you want to give your invoice now the reason you are seeing uh this is because i told you earlier that this is a laravel application and it is fetching uh, from the database so you don't need to worry yourself about so i i can choose to clean it and just put any name that i want okay so you don't need to worry yourself about this so it's still going to save as dot pdf so it's just for those that are uh, dynamically uh, you are generating your invoice dynamically so you don't need to worry yourself about this now the image type jpeg of course it's going to first convert to image before now convert it to pdf now the scale of the canvas so you can play around this choose two one the way it is going to scale i mean the size of it is going to be different now you don't need to portrait of course you always want a portrait and not landscape so now the this invoice here is a, what we have here so now these options is for this and you know just save so once you save it's download so if you don't want to save if you just want it to open on another browser then you just use stream but i i want it to be saved since i've already showed the user the uh the invoice so there's only showing it again to them in pdf i just want them to save so when, once you click on save so you can see it has downloaded and uh let us open this um okay so let us open it and uh, so this is the uh, this is the pda version you can see it has converted to pda all right i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you have any other uh, questions just uh leave it in the comments box below thank you